Okay, so in That's other like news, ascended. it is looking like Crystal Peabody took game one against x and it, Rice. It is also there's looking a, like... There's a match over this one. Miho, Miho, there's a match that we're actually going to talk over that's but like starting this, right... No, no, Miho, this, sit this down. This match is Miho, good. Miho, we got another really good one because not only do we have Trevante and Cerrone, but you know who they're fighting? The guys that beat Solomar and Ted, King Koopa and Gay. Wait a minute. What is happening today? It's it's Pappy's doubles. It's Pappy's. It's Pappy's. There's what always an upset. Pappy's? This is what yeah. always happens. Who's your upset? Yeah. Dang. I mean, that's what it looked like. It they looks like it was, a, it was two zero. It was a two one. Two one. Two one. Two one. Okay, but nonetheless, forget all these other matches. We're talking about the match that is on stream right now. King Koopa and Gay going against Trey Vonti and Cerrone. I mean, the main story this this season so far for NorCal has been King Koopa really showing up. Really, really hard. Like at the at our last foundry, he got four he plays. He got motivated so hard after being an honorable mention. Yeah. Because you and I being on the PR panel, it was very close to him not making it on. Yeah. Ever since then, he has just made it a mission to make it on this time around. It is definitely looking like it. I mean, his drive is bleeding into his devil's play as well, given the fact that they just beat the C2 of this event. But uh, those, they have to find themselves now against one of NorCal's most famous double teams. And Trevante has run it. They don't look like they've really dropped a, set at all, uh, a step at all. No, they are taking it to them right now. A bouncy pitch coming off from Trey Bonte. And King Koopa still <laughs> has not been able to touch the stage. And finally, he does. And now sitting at 145 already. One grab. Actually, take a stock from either of them, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and the thing that's really interesting, too, is uh, once King Koopa found his way to center stage, we saw Cerrone and uh, Dramonte stick really close together. Just in case Koopa found a grab, they were going to be there to interrupt before the shell shock could really happen. No, you have to get that immediate hit in, because if Bowser is already starting up his up throw animation, you're in no man's land there. Yeah. You might, it's better to go ahead and just try to hit your teammate after the throw, or just wait till the animation is done. Yeah, exactly, because otherwise the up throw is going to hit you, or you might get hit by the Bowser up air in the process. But here we have uh, Cerrone with her classic going straight into uh, shield mode at 100%. So if she doesn't, if they don't find an efficient answer for Cerrone, she can reach 200% per stock very easily. And like we were saying earlier, dealing with five Gervonta stocks, not exactly something anybody wants to do. Okay, and we were talking about Napster loving to go off stage. Trevante is the lord off stage. Oh, yeah. There is nothing you can go ahead and do against him. There is famously a set against Shaky where continuously he was just off and speaking of getting off, like Trevante is just off the stage right there. King, King Koopa shattering that shield on the ledge and Trevante has no choice but to plummet to his death. Goodbye. Wow. I, one thing I did like is that Cerrone had the awareness to try to forward air him, but I don't even think you can hit someone out of that animation there, can you? I believe you're invincible until you touch the ground, but I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. So he, he was just stuck. He's, he's gone. Yeah. As Sacramento likes to say, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Uh, that being said, though, uh, Cerrone actually does lose her stock as well. So this, they, they still have quite a bit to go, though. A whole full stock behind the green team. And, of course, you have to deal with those extra meaty Shulk stocks as well. Red, uh, blue team, in the meantime, looking to try to put up as much of a wall as possible with some fireball coverage for Bowser's approaches. But... Uh, green team slips their way through. Trevante with his slippery chic movement. Not able to be kept out easily. No, and what I do like what Green Team is doing is they're basically using Cerrone at the point. She is continuously tossing out these aerials, making it very hard for Mario and Bowser to get up in there. Bowser's looking for those grabs, and Mario, he wants the same exact thing. That's where a lot of his damage is going to be coming in. Oh, the clean back air off of that back throw, and that's exactly what they needed. And taking the lead just like that. It's the tiniest of leads, though, because look, at it's two near-death stocks versus two, uh, and a fresh one versus two fresh ones. So once Green Team finds a single neutral win, it's going to look a lot closer to Bouncy even. Fish not going to land. Oh my Favorite. goodness, Trevante trying to just use the, the win box right there. Unfortunately, not going to get it. Forward Smash not going to land either, going in the wrong direction. One thing that's also very huge is because they took out Gay Stock first, Koopa will not have the option to steal a stock and stay in this game. And there we go. Koopa is out for the game. No, he's not. No, he's in shield mode. Shield mode. I missed that. Yeah, she ended up going into shield. She put on some leftovers, trying to live a little bit longer. But as that happens, the knockback goes down drastically. Yes. There we go. The, the forward throw into the Elsmash. Wow, Gay and King Kuba have such... Still right after that as well, putting Gay right back on the offensive. Oh. Trevante going a little too low, fast falling to his doom and actually dropping the first game. And a side note, Crustle and Peabody, 2-0 over Rice XX. TCM is... 
doing pretty good in doubles today. I mean, they're losers. I mean, they still beat Rice and Exax. Right, right. Come on, man. Silver linings. <laughs> <laughs> and then they got another doubles team here going up one game up against Travante Cerrone, already beating Teb Sulamar. We saw earlier the work that Fremont Finest is putting in, too. This is looking like a TCM tournament. All right, wait, did Raph not have her tag? Was that it? I didn't even notice that. Wait, did Raph not have her tag? I seen her, like, flip through and everything. That might have been it. Let's see. I don't know. We, we can get a, maybe an instant replay, but no, we can't. Okay. No. It's okay. What? No, 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 what? I'm not judging you, We're Ian. pappies. You, you Wait, stop hitting me. Okay, just because, <laughs> you know, we've been to two GGs, we've been, you know, Midwest Mayhems and whatnot, you expect everyone to be... Do, do I look like Gimmer? Do I look like J-Max? I, I mean, just a I little bit. This I don't look... <laughs> you look like J-Max a little. <laughs> I, 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 can see, I can see a little J-Max. I can see a little J-Max. But then I'd be insulting J-Max. Yo, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's my <laughs> boss you're talking to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. A couple of the jabs coming out from both of these teams, putting on a lot of percent. King Koopa going for it all with that down air, trying to catch the regular get up of Cerrone, but Cerrone not giving it to him. The dunks, the neutral air, Cerrone barely getting out of that. And just, I'm still just taken aback by how on point blue team's conversions are, specifically the, the number of ways that Koopa has to capitalize on the openings that Gay finds. Because the mo like it is hard for uh, for Mario to find his way in this Sheik and Shulk team, but when he does, they have made it count. Oh, the second hit of the up smash of the landing hitbox actually gonna catch a strong there if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, not gonna kill though. Not gonna kill, but gonna catch that with an up B. That's also not gonna kill. They find an extra up air though for oh good measure. Oh my goodness, Trayvonte thought he rolled behind, but he did not. Gonna miss in the forward smash, barely taking away that stop. Yeah, it looks like. Uh, oh my God, what awareness! Big able to pick up. Off the Angel platform. Maybe that death was intentional, Mihail. Maybe maybe he just wanted to be up there and that was the fastest way to do it. It's a stock for stock. I'm not even mad. I mean, one thing I do have to say is that I love the support role that really Gate is playing. He's immediately just running up, getting these grabs, throwing it to Koopa, but gonna get caught by the up throw of Bowser. If you get hit by that anyway, stuff like that happens. Yeah, it sends in the wildest, wildest directions. Oh, you've teamed with the Bowser. Uh, have I? I thought you did. Maybe not. I don't think I've ever seen for the I'm Bowser. Disappointed in you. Now. No. All right, moving on. <laughs> up smash, <laughs> gonna catch Trayvante, losing that stock. Moving on, up smash. It can work like as a headline for like so many Smash Four tournaments. But anyway, gonna find Cerrone a back throw, getting themselves a little bit of a ping pong started on Koopa. Already 91%, Ooh, and that went straight into Cerrone losing that stock and two whole stocks. Blue team has over the green team. It is looking grim for old NorCal. I think I think that might be a little spoken too soon though. I mean, these stocks are pretty well done. They've been in the cooker for a bit and we do still have Cerrone with the capacity to last a little bit longer. I, I mean, I say that, but they've actually been really efficient at closing out these shield stocks. But wow, Cerrone, uh, Trevone. <laughs> Okay. Trevante, You're just combining him. No, yeah, no yeah. problem. <laughs> up till Cerrone catching. Ooh, both of the players there on their landing. Beautiful stuff. And as you were saying, they were quite well done. He had to throw him in the trash real quick. He wants these stocks nice, medium rare. Yes, exactly. That's that's the way all stocks should be. If anyone asks for anything different, we just politely yet firmly ask them to leave the tournament. Exactly. I ban him. All right, Trevante going in right now. Getting it back. Oh, 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 and right now, old NorCal looking pretty good. Uh, they, they heard the call. All right, but these stocks are bloodied on the green team as well. Cerrone getting away from a lot of those kill attempts from Gay and King Koopa. Yeah, she was just disengaging, recognizing the fact that Gay was looking for those grabs because he just wants to get that toss back into Koopa, but she waits for before she gets for herself to get that shield up Bouncy before she fish. goes back in. This is actually very dangerous for Trayvonte and Cerrone. Single jab, no. Going for the up smash. Oh no, but Trayvonte going for the up smash as well. He actually might lose the stock. He stays alive and he makes it back. High recovery, tries to go in for an edge guard on Koopa, finds his back there on it. Oh, oh my fun. god, and no. But still, Trayvonte goes in deep, trying to rescue Cerrone, doesn't find it. Finds a forward air though. And this is a situation we've seen Trayvonte come very close to or survive in the past. Oh, Trevante just doing it a little He's too quickly. No, the upper does not land. Trevante a second least on life. Trevante finds himself at the ledge. With the jab? Not gonna do it. Okay. Trevante definitely ready to recover from that. Makes it to the ledge. Put the forward tail right away, catching the jump. 
and 2-0 for King Koopa K moving on to play Luis and Smurf. My goodness. My goodness. King Koopa 